Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, another quick tutorial video. Um, this one is recommended by Taz Supreme. So thanks for the recommendations. I uh, appreciate it. Um, so done, Alicia Keys and Khaled. So let's get straight to it. So part one, uh, I'm gonna just play through the song. I'm gonna play through the chorus, the bridge and the chorus really quick. Uh, part two, I'm gonna explain the chorus, how to play them. And part three, I'm gonna go over the timing of the chords. So let's get straight to it. <laughs> Cause I'm so, so done Riding my time, holding me back I'm living the way that I want Cause I'm so, so done Riding myself, going through hell I'm living the way that I want I'm living the way that I want I'm living the way that I want Okay, so um, that's how you play through the song. Um, it is hard to play and sing. <laughs> but uh, so let's get to part two. So part two is the chords, uh, how to play the chords and the names of them. So um, there's only four chords all the way through, right? Um, just four chords. So the first chord is a B minor seven. So B minor seven, that's on the second fret, right? You're barring the second fret. So you're starting off on the A string. So A string, second fret. So then you go into the D. So A string, second fret. You got the D string, fourth fret. All right. Then you got the G string, third fret. And then you got the, you got the B string, uh, fourth fret. And then the high E string on the third fret, right? So that's a D minor. B minor seven, I'm sorry. So B minor seven, so we're gonna come back to that chord. So remember how to play this chord, remember the shape, cause there's another chord um, that is the same shape. Next chord is a G major seven. All right, that is on the third fret of the high E string. So we got third fret on the E, we got fourth fret on the D and, uh, D and G. And then you got third fret again on the B string. So we're not playing this A string. We're not playing this high E string at all. So when you're doing this chord, make sure this finger doesn't press down on the A because you don't want to hear that. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> so make sure that you're pressing down on this string up here, but not pressing down on this string. So you got to hover over the A a little bit. And when you do that, you uh, mute the A string so you can strum it all the way through. You're muting it. Same thing with this high E. You're touching it with your fingers, but you're not pressing down. You're not fretting it. All right. So my fingers hovered over this A, so it's muted. My other fingers are touching the high E, so it's muted. It doesn't come out. All right. All right. So that's the second chord. Then the third chord we're coming up here. Third chord is on the sixth fret. It's a E flat major seven. All right, so that's the root note. That's a E flat. So E flat major seven is so sixth fret on the sixth fret on the A. Then we're going to A fret on the D. Then we're gonna go to the seventh fret on the G, and we're gonna go to the back to the eighth fret on the B, and then sixth fret on the high E. So we're not playing this low E string at all. Once again, we are going to be touching it, not fretting it. So you see with this finger, instead of just having it right here, it slid up a little bit. So it's touching this string right underneath it. I'm touching it, not muting it, so that it doesn't ring out, right? So like I said, six fret, eighth, seven, six, Six, eight, seven, eight, and then six. That's E flat major seven. And then the last chord of the song is a C minor seven. Like I said, remember that chord? It's the same as the first chord. 
just up one fret. If you know how to play this chord, slide it up. Same thing. Still muting that. All the other notes, same shape. Um, so yeah, just really quick. Third fret, barring it. So third fret, A string. Fifth, uh, third fret, A string. Fifth fret, D string. Um, then we're going back to the third fret on the G. Fourth fret on the B. Third fret on the high E. C minor seven. So, um, like I said, B minor seven, G major seventh, E flat major seventh, C minor seventh, the whole song. That's it. So for part three, let's just go over the timing real quick. Um, so the timing and the strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern, you're just basically hitting the, the chords twice. Just play, just listen to the song, play how it sounds. So it's just. And then I'm doing the same thing for these two. And then I'm going back. Um, so let me go over that correctly. So um, for the timing, we're going to count one and two and three and four. Um, so we're going to start on the first chord. Uh, one and two and three and four. So I'm playing on the one. One and two. And the second chord is going to be played after the, on the two and. So on that and, you're playing the second chord. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So then we're going one and two and three and four and. So that's the first time through. First time through. When the phone, when the song first starts, it plays through before they talk. Then the words come in on the second time through. So the second time through is going one and two and three and four. Same way. Same way. One and two and three and four. Then it's gonna switch up in a little bit. So one and two and three and four. So we're gonna play on that four on the end as opposed to playing on the one at the end, right? So I'm gonna play it all the way through with counting, um, starting from the very first time around. So, uh, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Then one and two and three and four and one. Last thing I want to say is um, if you're not used to counting and like strumming and all that, like you have to practice that and you get your timing down really good. Um, notice like my hand keeps moving. So every time I count one and two and three and four, even if I'm not strumming, my hand's moving one. So one and two and three and four. You keep your timing the hand keeps moving four right so my hand is kind of going on a one e and a two e and a three e and a, it's kind of going in, in in fourths but I'm, I'm only thinking one and two and three and four so you got that timing down uh, those are the chords that's the timing uh, that's how you play it um, that's pretty much the whole song that's the whole song it's a good song I appreciate the recommendations and please keep them coming. That's pretty much it. Shout out to the Raider Nation. And I'm out. <laughs>